Guys, I, before we start the podcast, I definitely want to give a shout out to Rico Alvarado Sauce, man. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, man. It really meant a lot to me. Definitely a great artist, guys. Definitely go check him out on his Instagram for his merch and art and commissions. Maybe fuck around and get a tattoo by him. Definitely check all that in the description down below uh, where you can get a hold of him. I would really appreciate it. I also want to give a shout out to my barber, Jose, right there on 11th Street, Mochachitas. Definitely hooked it up with your boy. Hell yeah, feeling fresh. Definitely go check him out. I'll also put a link down below where you might get a hold of him if if he is willing to do that. So definitely check that out. And man, let's get straight into this podcast, man. Thank you guys so much. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, man, thank you for coming. Like I said, you know, you're, you're a busy man. I know you have a lot of shit to do and stuff. So, again, you know, thank you for coming and giving me some of your time, you know. Hopefully, you know, I ask the questions you want to be asked and, you know, so we can learn a little bit more about yourself. But before we start it off and talk about more of what you do, uh, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your background, your, you know, a little bit of context, you know, where you're from and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um... My name's Enrique Alvarado Jr. Um, once again, uh, Enrique Alvarado, Alvarado Sauce, what have you. Um, I was born in Lubbock, Texas. Um, I kind of jumped back and forth from from here, Wisconsin, and, and Lubbock, Texas, um, down in Delvin, Delvin, Wisconsin. I've been bouncing back and forth from there to, from birth to about eighth grade. And then, uh, at that point, we finally, finally uh, landed in Texas and uh, finished off high school. And always been involved in art. Um, not so much, not nothing like you know doing now, getting involved with you guys and, and involved with the Rockford world. Um, but always, always did things on my own. Um, not at this level, but um, in about 2011, landed back here, and you know now dad now whatever you okay. know. So I kind of kind of lost my my time and my love for for art oh. in general. Yeah. I lost it in, you know, going through life, what have you. Um, and with my kids getting older now, you know, they don't want to hang out with dad so much no more. So yeah. I don't have to chase them around all that good stuff. So now, like I said, in the past three years, I've, I've been able to find that, find that love again and really spend time on it, spend time with it. Um, so that's where I'm at and where I'm doing, man. So once again, just back and forth from Texas. And I'm, I'm now, this is where I call home, man. Oh, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Uh... You don't mind me asking, like, uh, what year were you born? Uh, 1983. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, 38 years old. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, what part of Texas, man? Uh, Lubbock. Lubbock, Texas. It's yeah. about, uh, you know, some folks know it, some don't. Uh, home of Buddy Holly. Okay. Um, and many others. But um, it's about two hours from Amarillo, oh. about five hours from Dallas, you know, for those that know the area. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, it's a pretty, pretty dope town, pretty dope town. But as far as, you know, like the, the art culture and, you know, like, you know stuff like that, man. It's it's just not there. You know, oh, really? or if it was, I I never found it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and once again, I didn't have the time to get out there like that. But yeah, nothing like I've seen here, man. It's it's crazy. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's crazy, man. For real. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I've been there too. You know, when I when I came here, I didn't think there was, it was an artsy place until what like two thousand. I see you not recently, like what two years within the two years, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow, yeah. that's crazy. And you've been here all your life, you said. Uh, two thousand seven. Yeah, awesome. originally I'm from Chicago. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. and uh, yeah, so we moved uh from Chicago to here because uh generally some of my family's here, and uh yeah, so from two thousand seven till now, bro, I just barely uh discovered the art scene. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah right. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, man. You think you you know you know right off the bat, but. Yeah, yeah, and um, you're looking for it, I guess. Yeah, and uh, how, 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 why did you go to Wisconsin? Um, once again, uh, we bounced back for my family was from there. My my mother's family. Oh, uh, my mother okay. was born in Michigan, and they kind of, you know, they kept it kept it there. Um, down in Delavan, Janesville area. Um, and like I said, up and up until, up until when I uh, had my first child. I had a decent job. I was a manager. I worked three days, half a week, okay. you know, three and a half days a week, made decent money. I had no real reason to, you know, to mess up what I was doing or fix what wasn't broken. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, 
But uh, I quit managing and what I was doing out there, and uh, I had I wanted to make the same you know amount of income. I wanted to have the same you know level of income, live the same style. So, um, that led coming to, to Wisconsin. You know what I mean? Uh, the 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 cost of living. I I don't know about all that stuff, but I know the the, the money coming in. You know, the paychecks every week was was twice of what I was seeing in Texas. So oh, really? having my first child, that was a no brainer, man. I had to come down here. So. That was in 2011, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, so that was pretty much what brought me down here, man. It's just becoming a new dad, you know, a new father, and uh, needing the needing the bread. And this is where the milk and uh, the milk and honey's at, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's dope, man. And and when did uh, art come around? Um, I, I know you said that you you've been drawing all your life, but like, when did how did that come about? Yeah, yeah. Um, like taking it seriously. Um, or how, I, or how did you start start off? Um, to begin with, uh, man, just you know, farting around as a kid, you know what I mean, seeing uh, kind of the folks around me. I had I had some influences around me that you know, um, showed me some of the things that you know Rockford is is known for, like the you know the the art scene, the breaking, you know, shit like that. Some of that stuff was shown to me as a young age, um, and I kind of saw it on my own as well. And shit, I fell in love with it from jump. So. Whether it's uh you know the breaking or, or you know the music or the the art shit, I was always I was always into that from jump. So uh yeah, that's where it came from, just seeing it and kind of running with it. Oh, okay, uh, who who inspired you or um for one, like I said, my I have uh, my, one of my brother in laws, um, a dope artist. You know he 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 was same thing. They're they're they were breakers. They were you know graffiti artists. All that good stuff as young as young kids. Um. And obviously, once I started, you know, kind of learning or, or paying attention to all the, like, breaking shit like that, for yeah. me, it was, like, you know, Easy Rock, Ken Swift, yeah. Mr. Wiggles, you know what I mean? Some cats like that. And then as far as, like, uh, the graph scene, for me, back in the day, it was, like, Cope 2, okay, uh, yeah, Mike yeah. Giant, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, phase 1, you know, you know, guys like that. Um, yeah, that, that was it for me, man. And, you know, like I said, high school, that's all it was. You know, you'd catch us either, either breaking or, or looking at, you know, graffiti shit, yeah, or, you know, yeah, printing yeah. shit out at school and going home, trying it out. Um, big thing for us was the book covers, paper book covers at school. Yeah. Fuck, we tear those up, dude, you know? So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah it was just uh, <laughs> seeing it and just falling in love with it, man, and just running with it and that shit to this day, man. I, but like I said, I, I have time now. I dabbled back in the day and all, but now I actually get time to, you know, you know, jump in and, and, and mess around, you know, shit, we've, I, I've broken, the, you know, we, we break in a little bit downstairs in the basement, my girl, with my girls of all things, you know what I mean? If I had a bunch of little boys, I guess it'd be a little different, but, you know, my girls, they, they played around for a little bit, but, you know, you know, to each their own, you know, they, they played with it for a while, a couple summers, and after that, it was kind of eased down, but, um, for me, it's still one of my loves, I love watching it, uh, can't do it so much anymore, but, you know what I mean, uh, yeah. Definitely watching it and, and the art that comes along with it, uh, the MCs, just everything, man. The the, the elements there, they're they're dope. So you broke the uh, break dance, or you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, you know I was more I'm more of a popper, you okay. know, more than everything. You know, I do a little floor, a little top rock, whatever. But I mean, heavy duty like what they're doing nowadays, or yeah. you know, with the cats around here, no, nah, nothing <laughs> like that. Once again, it, it wasn't that heavy. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. saw it here in Wisconsin, and when I went to Texas, fuck, there was. You know, I couldn't count the people on my hands, man. You yeah, know what I mean? So yeah. there was like maybe, well, I'd say there was like five, six people in my town that fucking knew anything about breaking or graffiti or house music or freestyle music or shit like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah I I, I kind of took it to where the little town that I was at, the little dirt town in, in uh, Tohoka, Texas, you know, for those who ever see this, um, it's, a, it's a little suburb of, of Lubbock. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So I kind of connected with the you know five or six dudes there, and through high school it was on, man. You know those those you know kind of like uh Vic uh Vic Monster put it up on a post a couple weeks ago. He's like, you know, I think I found my tribe, or yeah. you know, people yeah. that are your tribe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I found those six dudes, and and it was pretty cool, man. All through high school we kind of had the little they had their little clique. You know what yeah. I mean? We had a little clique. You know it was cool. Yeah, but yeah. uh, art 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 and uh breaking were always something I always uh always. Right there, I bet. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. I mean, there in my family, bro, it's either artists or dancers. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the the dancing legs. <laughs> you know? yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, so I definitely was born with the two left feet. But man, uh, drawing. When I saw my dad always come from work, he would always doodle. So for me, watching that, I I picked up some of the things and then did my own. So, yeah, 
Got you, got you. Yeah, and, I, and uh, you you talking about Mr. Wiggles, bro? That that's a classic, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good shit, dude. Like you know, um, the I, VHSs, man. Um, it, it was crazy back in the day. For us, it was Seven Mile Fair, bro. That's where everything was at back in Milwaukee back in the day. Um, anything from like I said, the 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 tapes to the to the clothes to the fucking videos, man. We we jump on it and uh, yeah, we'd watch that shit for days. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just in awe. It was crazy, and uh, it's now seeing them. Now at at an older age, you know what I mean. Do they they still doing the shit? Forty, fifty years old, man. You know what I mean. But that's I guess that's what it's about, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, especially when you have a love for it, man. I, I, yeah, that that just don't go away. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so what what's your type of what's your favorite medium to do? Or yeah, what what is what would you say your favorite um medium? shit, dude. I do so mu- so many different things because you know it, it really it all started me just kind of doing. St- one-off pieces for people. Okay. Um, yeah. Like little commission pieces, I guess you could say. Yeah. On um, paper, canvas? Everything. Okay. You know, yeah. anything. That's why I say it's kind of hard for me to, to say which one because, you know, I do paint. I do wood burning. I do shit. Um, you know, I have tattoos, that's, right? Yeah, yeah. I play around with tattooing a little bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. Um, I play with tattoos a little bit. Um, shit, dude. I've, you know, I, I've seen your stuff. Um, th- this shit here, man. I've... I've I've been inspired to try clay a little bit, you know, my oh, daughters. Yeah. yeah, by watching you, you know, not even saying that just because we're here, but yeah. um, I wanted to do something for the Doom show. Okay, yeah. you know, a couple weeks ago, but I was like, man, you know, that's his lane. I don't want to fuck with, you know. No, I mean? no, th- but dude, yeah, if you ever want to try, let me know so that way I can give you pointers because you know, I, me doing this, I had to do it all on my own. But like, yeah, I, it's definitely I learned, a learning process. For yeah, sure. yeah. So I'm always willing to give out, you know, the the shortcuts, man. Because if there's anything I would love to see is other people's creativity. It's, they got you know, yeah especially if, you, especially if you inspired it absolutely yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. so um um yeah so like i said I, i've been wanting to branch out into other stuff um you know wood carving not just wood burning because that's another one of my lanes wood wood burning yeah, yeah. um but yeah so it's so it's so hard to it's so hard to to uh choose one but shit man i'm, I'm gonna have to go with uh i'd probably say paint dude paint man. yeah yeah <laughs> paint just because you can move a little quicker Really? There's yeah. room for uh you know wood burning you burn that this way, that's it. Back, that's right? it. Yeah. Tattooing you go this way. Yeah, you can't go back. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so paint you have that you have that little bit of room to to redo to do over to yeah. change. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. So a little, little more a little more room to play, I guess. Um. So yeah, anything paint or you know shit. I I haven't done much watercolor any really. Um, mm, okay. like on serious, like really attacking something, but. I think that's stuff that, once again, you have room to play. So, yeah, definitely paint. Definitely paint on anything. Shit, whether it's wood, canvas, uh, you know, coats, fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that For me, painting is one of the hardest just because I don't know my, my brushes or uh, my, my colors too much. You know, yeah. blending? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. Or uh, color. Well, I mean, anybody can learn it, but, like, I, I feel like my paint color matching or whatever or yeah. mixing is not as good. Gotcha. Well, on the same note, like you told me, man, you, you can, you know, throw some things at me as far as the, you know, the clay or the, you know, the plaster, whatever it's called, and, you know, hit me up on the paint, man. We'll, we'll make it happen, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, Sharpen yeah. each other's swords, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll definitely love to collab as well, too, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, we got to do that for sure. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Um, how long does it take you to do a piece? Um, if it's, if it's a piece of your own, not a commission. Oh, got you. Got you. Um, shit, you know, just like anything else just depends on what it is, you know, the detail involved, all that good stuff. But if it's something like, I really want to get this done, I really want to do it. Fuck. I could probably knock it out. Um, for instance, like, uh, uh, cause, cause you, you, a 36 I- by like 18, or something like that, or, right. or a twenty-four by yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, we'll say a twenty-four by eighteen. Yeah, twenty-four yeah. by eighteen. Yeah, yeah. I can bang that out in about eight hours. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen yeah. like my biggie. Yeah, bro. Those shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or or yeah, the was, Mac was... or the Nipsey. Those they those took a lot of time because you know in between work, like you said, there were commission pieces. Okay. They weren't just so much. Um, yeah, I was gonna say because I, I noticed you, bro. You you like to do like re- like people figures or whatever. Yeah, yeah, portraits stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Um. And and I'll be honest with you, bro. Like I like I said, I've done, I've played all my life, but my first actual painting that I sat down, I'm like, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna try to do my best, knock it out, whatever. Was the biggie? Oh, really? That was the first one, <laughs> and that was just like you said, just fucking like three years ago. Oh, really? Oh, you know so what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was that recent that 
I've started doing this shit. You know what I mean? Once again, I never had the time to sit down and like you said, how long does it take? I never knew because I never had the time. Mm -hmm. But now, um, I'd say something like that. Eight to ten hours if I sit down and really, really bang it out. Yeah. Um, remember that? Remember that cycle you saw at Benny's? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for fall art scene, yeah. I knocked that out that morning, bro. Really? Yep, yep. Dude, it was. It was. It was an empty. That's what everybody there said too. It was an empty spot. Yeah. I didn't have nothing above the doorway when you walk in. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, that's killing me. You know what I mean? That's just an empty spot there. You know, but you know, it's just like. I mean, but I'm shocked because, you know, as a person who has worked with uh, paintings and, like, paint and uh, just just that medium, bro, it's very hard to be, and time-consuming because you got to let shit dry. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, that's one thing that, that I, you know, once again, I don't know fucking uh, left from right on paint. So, like that. I'm barely <laughs> learning now. Acrylic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, like, oils, I didn't know there was a difference, you yeah, know, yeah, like, the drying yeah. process and, you know, this and that and mixing and blending and all that good stuff or... Um, like visible brush strokes, you know, you'll see them in acrylic. You won't see it in oil. I didn't know none of this stuff. This is all stuff that yeah, I'm actually, learning. I didn't even know that neither. <laughs> so you, you telling me saying? that? Yeah, yeah. yeah see, yeah. so it's just stuff that, <laughs> like I said, thanks to people like yourself and everybody else in Rockford that's been showing me love or put me on in the in the past three years, man. This is all kind of stuff I'm learning from people on the go. Oh. I just I just learned that that oil shit and that acrylic difference couple months ago talking to bob blosser he's the owner of uh benny's cleaners okay. where, where, where that last show was at yeah, yeah, that yeah. gallery show yeah. he kind of broke a little bit down to me and then i met a dude at the doom show yeah that broke me down and i can't remember his name but I, i'll um i'll let you know who it is uh, yeah, later sure. but he was breaking me down on some oil shit too so it's like cool man you know like once again, I I've never been in a spot where you can just meet people and they just sit down and chop it with you for forty minutes about art or about this or that or the other. You know, it's it's so dope. Yeah, yeah, dude, it really, really is, bro. Like, cause you know when I started to go out, you know, to meet people, like I met your, I met you, bro, and we chopped it up, bro, for a little bit, and uh, it it really is fun, and you, it's very um, like you learn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what's cool is like a lot of people aren't up for that. They don't want to tell you how, yeah. or they, you know, they, yeah, yeah, that's they keep it as like, oh, it's a secret. And it's yeah. like, you know, one thing I've, uh, another thing uh, Rockford showed me too, man, is I don't, I ain't heard no hate, bro. I ain't seen no hate. Yeah, you yeah. know, it might be there. Yeah. Yeah. But who you, knows? Yeah. But it's not like every other place I've been or around a lot of the other people I've been around where it's hate in your face, man. It's hate when you turn around. It's hate when you look at them, when you talk to them, you know, when, whenever, you know, you hear through the grapevine, but yeah. Shit, man, I haven't seen or heard none of that, you know, as far as these, these few circles that, you know, I've kind of... Bouncing around in and seeing, so... To That's me, cool. it's cool that folks that are, you know, willing to show you, hey, man, this is my craft. Let me show you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do your thing with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whatever. yeah. And, and, and I feel like that it, it helps people who are, like, open, like, when they meet other open people. You yeah. know, obviously, if you meet a bunch of assholes, bro, that are like, eh, I'm not going to teach you because I don't know you. Yeah. Or maybe I don't want you to steal my style. Is because, you know, when that shit happens, you know, you kind of close yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're closing your own doors. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. I mean, me, and me, bro, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've drawn since I was little, you know, and uh, I never had the opportunity to really go into, like, where, you know, the events Vic throws or, yeah. you know, just around Rockford, bro. And um, so I always kept everything to myself because, you know, I never really was out there like, oh, I'm an artist, you know. Like, yeah, let me yeah. show you stuff, you know. Everything was just closed until this last couple recent years where i'm like you know i want to show everything i don't yeah, absolutely. I, I don't want to hide anything because you know there you you like you said you close a lot of doors yeah no, no one's ever gonna see it if it's and nobody's ever gonna get motivated closet. from it yep absolutely and, absolutely and you know like i don't know man like for my personal experience you know like i like I, I went through a, a a wrong path, you know. I thought being a gangster and all that was cool. Oh, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We all had our phases. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, sure. so I, I was definitely in that phase, and like I feel like uh, a stain in the community, you know, just yeah. because I I pushed that more than you know pushing art. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, yeah, yeah. So 
you know, that, that also contributes to me also wanting to open up and like show people my failures and show them, you know, what I do. So that way they can get motivated and not do, not, not do my mistakes or follow my mistakes, bro. Cause you know, I have nieces and nephews, bro. And I don't want them to see. Yeah. And, and, and one thing you never know, man, is people are watching. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's you know, another grown folks or it's your niece, or you, like you said, your yeah. your nephew, your son, your daughter. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm barely meeting cats now on like the art tip, um, yeah. dude from Delvin Delinquent Arts. You know what I mean? Elkhorn area. Um, shout out to him. We barely started chopping it up about art and shit like that over Snap. And he's like, bro, I remember you when you were a kid. You used to you know you used to yeah. dance and you used to have your little tail and you used to do this and that. And yeah. it's like. Damn, bro, and you know what? The same shit, you know. Oh, I, I remember stuff about this and that and the other about the hush, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking around, you know, trying to be little badasses and this and that. I was like, yeah, that's that's crazy that you know folks remember that, but um, it's cool that it remembered everything, not just the dirt, you know what yeah. I mean? But at least he's somebody that knows just like me and yourself, right there. It was just a phase. It's not. I mean, some folks are on that ride or die shit, you yeah. know, heavy duty, like that's what they eat breakfast over that shit. But yeah, no, uh, yeah, for me it was a phase. One and done and out of the way, you know, I'm glad all the other stuff stuck with people like the dancing, the art and shit like that. That stuck with them over 20 years as opposed to all the dumb shit, you know what I mean? So, And and yeah, man, and that's something I like to bring people like yourself on and, you know, talk like, yeah, you know, like I, I fucked up, but, you know. I, I change, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's that's all that's all it's about, man. And and like you were saying earlier, by telling that, you know what I mean? You can, you can inspire somebody else to, to turn it into something like this as opposed to out there doing dumb shit, wasting their time or or um, losing valuable time when it's behind bars or in the hospital or whatever it may be. Or wasting your time with like people. Hey, yeah, you know? yeah. So you, you could be doing something else, spreading love, spending uh, shit wealth in, in every aspect of that word, you know what I mean? Whether it be through art or, or making money from it or whatever. If you can inspire somebody to do the same thing, that's the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah, you know I, I'm glad. You know uh, I'm glad you feel the same way. You know because there's times where I, you know I bring people on. I, I tell them the same shit. You know I like I really got nothing to hide. You know I do have an embarrassing past, and you know I'm always willing to bring it up. Yep, as we all do. Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, so, but you said that you you kind of had like a little hiatus, right, with the drawing for a while. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like I said, um, right after, right at the end of high school, um. And anyway, what was cool, I mean, if you got time or whatever, one thing about it. Um, yeah, yeah, bro. I, obviously, man, I got, we got plenty of time, but, you know, we're not going to capture everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah so absolutely. you're always welcome to come back. So, you know, yeah, definitely cool, take no your time. Man. But just a, just a quick, quick one about the art yeah. thing, you know, another deal. And as, as far as like, oh, the, the, the bad phase of our life, when I went to Texas, they ain't never seen what I was. I thought I was going to go to home, you know, Dickies, Cortez, Hairnets. Muscle shirts, you know what I mean? Because that's what we were doing back in the day, rocking that shit. Yeah. So when I went to Texas, I thought I was going to be at home, you know? And yeah. I got there, it was totally different. The Dickies was about the same and the Cortez, but other than that, yeah. I was sticking out like, you know, like a, yeah, like an orange <laughs> yeah. on a green hat, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was weird, you know? They never seen the low rider bike shirts and the low riders, you know, you know the, the, the belts hanging and the socks up and all that shit. So when it came to school, right away, I was the bad kid. I was the... I was the ringleader. Yeah. Remember, I told you we had six little friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, I was a ringleader and this and that and the other. I got, I got called to the office about my clothes. Yeah, you yeah. know about my little tattoos here and I had to wear band aids on my shit. No way. Oh yeah, they they <laughs> made it. And once again, anybody in Tulsa, Texas, will tell you they'll they'll, they'll vouch for me. That, you know, you had to wear band aids over your shit. I couldn't. I had to pull my socks down. Oh, Most folks nowadays want your shirts tucked in. Yeah. They were asking me to untuck it, bro, because I would tuck them in and have the dickies folded wow, and shit. Really? But it all represented something that they'd never seen and yeah, were scared yeah. of or only heard of. So, um, but one day I was sitting there drawing, and I still got the the, the pictures. I should have drawn. I'll, I'll I'll send it to you one of these days when we come back. Yeah, but it was two sure. little cholitos, just chilling, you know, posted up. And the teacher asked me one day, you know, Enrique, what's the answer to blah blah blah? So here you go, like anybody else. <laughs> trying to find the page well, by the time that she pulls up and oh my god what is this yeah. and all up, up to the principal's office yeah yeah like oh shit you know wow they're going crazy you know like they're going crazy with this shit yeah so finally we go in there and um she's telling the principal miss hayes oh my god can you believe this can you believe this young man did this and i about you know i'm like 
they're really making a big deal about this issue. Isn't this wonderful? Mm. And I'm like, <laughs> what? you know what? What the fuck is going on? You know? Yeah. Everything just went left like that. And so I'm like, oh shit. Well, yeah, and that's great. And this, but the thing was, is it was great what they did, but they 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 looked at me wrong. They looked at it the wrong way. Now it was I was the trouble child. Mm. I was the bad kid. I was the I didn't have, which was not the case. I've always had. You know, my parents provided for me more than more than what I've needed my whole life. Okay. But they just saw this, you know, the 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 outside. What I know in the inside. Yeah, the the cover. So, but what was cool was is they took away my my physical science class, bro. They bought me a file cabinet with all the little shelves, you know, like that shit, the little shelves and uh -huh. all that shit. Colored pencils, oil pastels, oh. sketchbooks, this and that. They graded me on what I did, bro. This was in seventh grade. Yeah, yeah. They graded me on what I drew every day. But because they thought I was a bad kid or a kid without or whatever the hell the case may be. So, but I just took advantage of it. I mean, I'm like, you know, y'all can think whatever y'all want of me. But this is cool. I'm going to sit here and get, you know, graded on what I draw. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So I took advantage of it and, uh. That was that was one cool thing with me that that I'll always remember uh, as far as my art and just doing me. I didn't I didn't change nothing. I didn't you know, and that's the same way I'm now. I don't change my style. I don't I don't you know, switch it up for a certain event or this or that and the other. I just do me all the time, and it it always works out. Um, you know, thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that was that was one little thing as far as my art goes in our past and how they clash and all that good shit. Um. But I'm just glad that, you know, all the, like you said, you're grown man now. All the dumb shit's out the way. You can really make something happen with this stuff, man. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. The, the reason why I asked about the, like, the little stoppage was like, was it Oh, hard? yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't no. even, I didn't even address it. No, no, you're fine, bro. Shit. But the reason why I asked it, though, was, was it, was because when you did start back up, was it hard? Um, no, no, no. Once again, and I'll just sum it up real quick. Yeah. The stoppage is only just due to life. I quit high school and had to start working. Yeah. That simple, you know. Um, and that's one thing my parents always instilled in me is you, you don't, you know, you don't work, you don't eat. So mm -hmm. that's why I was on the hiatus. Fast forward, the kids are, you know, 10, 12 now or 12, 14 now. So I had time to jump back on it. And no, it was simple, man. Um, I did a little wood burn, a cycle realm okay. that cycles. I'm sure I should. I've done like six, seven of them now. Mm. Working on one right now to a painting version of it. Oh, um, shit. Yeah, second painting version of it. Um, but I did one of those for a friend, and I had started following Vic Monster. Uh, that's the man right there. He, he, him, yeah, yeah. him and BZ, the other ones that started this off for me, man. Thank y'all. Yeah, yeah. That's um, a shout out to them, man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the ones right there. Um, but I, I'd been following Vic over the breaking shit. Okay. Went to a couple breaking events there in Rockford over the winter and finally started like following me back and shit, whatever. And he caught, he caught that wood burning. And I guess he showed it to be easy cause he hit me and he's like, um, Hey bro, you know, would you want to be a part of an art show? I'm like, fucking hell yeah. What you talking about? You know, like, hell yeah, I want to be part of an art show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did that shit in high school, but yeah, yeah. you know, granted where I was at, you know, it was, it's not a place where you're seen. I mean, I was seen there. I was a stand out there as far as my little art shit, but yeah. You're not going to get picked up by anybody, you know, like these guys and get thrown into a world of whatever you want to make it yeah. um, or get picked up by a college or, a, you know, art institute or no shit like that. So it's kind of tough out there. Um, yeah. Yeah. I imagine a, a place where there's no creativity seen like that. It's very hard. For yeah. To person. get seen or picked up yeah. or found or any of that shit. So, um, I mean, sorry. For, for no, 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 no. But even a place like this, bro, like if you really don't stand out, it's kind of hard to like be shown yeah that's that's like we were saying earlier and yeah. it, it that 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 shows true it doesn't matter where you're at if you got it balled up and the world ain't gonna see it man big or small you know so um but yeah i um back to the high school shit um or no i'm sorry the the vic stuff yeah he's like hey bro you want to be in uh you want to be in that art show the de los muertos it's uh you know day of the dead show absolutely and that was uh I think 2019, 2019, right? Yeah. Right before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Right before COVID. Yeah. yeah yep. Yeah. Um, and shit, dude, I did, a, I did a, another, another big ass wood burning or like two, three, two, three big ass wood burnings. Um, one or two paintings and took them to that show and shit, dude, ever since then it's been on and on and, and rolling, dude, on and cracking. I mean, 
everything and even, it's even got my 14 year old daughter involved I, i'm sure mm -hmm. you've seen her stuff already yeah, 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 um yeah, yeah, emma yeah. jean art world y'all y'all check her out um but even got her involved dude you know yeah. like she's done her own she's done three separate shows already yeah, yeah um, um one of them was the female energy yeah right? female energy um she did that was her second show her second uh run with female energy her first one was with them um we did our own solo show out in Delaware, wisconsin a couple months ago in august um yeah, so like I said, man, it, like you said, it, it inspires. It inspires, yeah. you know. Uh, we were inspired by everybody out here. Yeah. And it, it inspired her and shit, you know. Hopefully it keeps on rolling like that, you know. I'm sure it does. Yeah, yeah, man, for sure, man. Yeah, as long as you bring cool, positive people around, which is kind of hard to find sometimes. But, you know, it's out yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah, out yeah. There. You, you, yeah, you know, you kind of got to pick and, pick and choose as, as you, as you you know, roll roll through every, all, the, all the different crowds, all the different circles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, dude. So when when you do a show, what do you like to bring or how many pieces would you, do you like to bring? Um, As much as I can, man. Um, I know that's Only, a hard one. I know. That's yeah, hard yeah. Hard. I mean, I, I come, I come with the with the kitchen sink, man. Uh, Vic was laughing at me at um, the Heritage House for um, that's where we first introduced each other. Okay. Um, what what was the name of the Hispanic Heritage Month? I think that's what the, it was. the ethnic, the ethnic. Museum? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. There you go, ethnic Heritage House or whatever yeah, yeah, it's called. Yeah. Um. I walked in, you know, and you know me, bro. I come in with, I got the yeah. big monsters, you know what I mean? <laughs> and one, I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was like a month, like a month long thing. Yeah. I didn't know you were limited to like three, four pieces. I didn't know none of this. So I came with the kitchen sink, man. I had, I had a big old monster piece. I walked in, he's like, dude, he starts like literally laughing at me. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I was like, shit, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know, you know. So I pulled out all the little stuff. Yeah, um, no, I I remember seeing you walk in, bro. You had like giant pieces, and you also had people helping you out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You you saw it all. So yeah. you know, yeah, me, bro. I I try to bring I try to bring it all, man, because I don't know who's gonna be there. I don't know who's gonna see it. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? true. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it all, dude. And, and, and you know, it to me, it's different. It's just like anything else. Anybody else, you can buy online, but when you go to the rack, look at it, hold it, touch it, see it, yeah. you know, smell it, whatever it is, it's better right here. You know what I mean? So I can show anybody my Instagram or my snap or tell them, check me out on here. But shit, seeing it right here is totally different. You and know and I mean? also, I don't know if you're there every time, but like when, when you have your stuff out and you're, and you're there talking to people, actually you're not, bro. I don't know if it's me, but I see that that actually motivates the person to actually buy a piece. I, I, I look for the same things too. I look for reactions. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, like be honest, there's been some places where I've gone, I ain't sold shit. Mm. There's gone some places where I've sold shit. I've been mean, super great, mm. or some days mediocre. But to me, and I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I don't do it for the money and shit. Like, no, I yeah, any everybody wants money. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but me, I do it. I do it for the love, man. Straight up, you know, like I do. I do it for not like recognition. Look at me. Yeah. But like you said, my bigger payoff is seeing that person light up. Yeah. Like, oh shit, this is the one. Like at day of the day. I did a, I call them sacred crosses. Yeah. Um, I've only done two of those, but one I did later, and I got a picture on my gram too, where the lady, she grabbed it, and dude, she's hugging it like a teddy bear, a, a three-year-old with a teddy bear. She's hugging it like that, and she's like, you know, I got a wall full of crosses, Rico, yeah. but I don't have one like this, yeah. you know? And that, to me, is the shit, dude, you know what I mean? To to know that you can do that for somebody, that you can bring that, that, that spark to somebody, you know what I mean, over... Something that may not mean shit to us. Yeah. Or, you know, oh, I'll whip that up real quick. Or I can do those, you know, in a heartbeat or whatever. But uh, one thing I try to tell my daughter and anybody is, you know, your worst piece, you're your own worst critic. You can yeah. think that is the biggest, oh, man, I can't do that. I can't put that out there. Yeah. But there's somebody out there looking for exactly that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that'll make someone's day. So, for me, that's, I try to bring it all because I don't know who's going to be there or who's... What I got is here for somebody somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. And me being from Janesville, that's the other thing is that's that's forty five minute drive. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. to an hour to, to to come to Rockford for anything. So if I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. I'm not gonna leave nothing to chance. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to run home, get it right quick, yeah. or nothing. So I bring it on, man. Wherever I come to, you know what I mean. So yeah, man, and that that's why I keep saying thank you, bro, for coming. Because when you said you're about like forty five minutes away, I'm like, holy shit! Oh, man. shit I hope man. I'm not like. 
Because, you know, that's a burden, bro. It's like, shit, you not for me, bro. If I got to go drop something off more than 30 minutes, I actually will have to ship it because I don't like being in the car for that. Well, me driving, I don't like to drive for more than 30 yeah. minutes, you know. Yeah, see, and, and, and for me, once again, I, I keep going back to it is, man, the love for out here. That's, you know, to me, that's worth it, man. I don't give a fuck if I got to pay an extra, you know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, gas, whatever. Um, the time, you know, that's why I didn't come last night. It's just, if I were to try to get out here at 6, 7 o'clock, I wouldn't be getting home till yeah, yeah, yeah. 11. I got to work at 2 in the morning. So, but um, when I can, I will. And it's not a problem for me because, like I said, I wouldn't get this 30 minutes away at home. Mm, yeah, there's yeah. no, there's nobody doing this. You know what I mean? So, yeah. For me, shit, that means nothing. I'll take that drive. You know yeah, what I mean? For, yeah. any, for anything out here in Rockford. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. I bet uh, Rockford really appreciates you, bro. I for hope real. so. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, you you coming out your way to, you know, show your art and your skills, bro. That, that To artists like me, that means a lot, you know? Yeah, it's cool. That's cool that yeah. you appreciate it, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, man. And, um, yeah, and I was going to get into that, that thing you said, bro. Like, are you your own worst critic? Um... Man, I, you know what? I want to say yes, but no. Um, oh, okay. My lady, she is bad, dude. She'll tell me right now. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, girl, you supposed to hold me? You know, like, be yeah. right. And she does. She holds me down to the fullest. But she'll tell me right now, ah, you better change that. Okay. Or, you know, or she can. <laughs> one thing with me is, yeah, and, and yeah, next next to me or next to my old lady is me. Okay. Uh, but okay. she's my worst critic. Okay. Um, um, she'll tell me. You you better do that because you're gonna be doing it. She already knows me. In other words, yeah. she'll tell my face if I don't like it yeah. or if I'm not happy with it. And one thing I've told myself in anything I do, whether it's my clothes, my paintings, wood burning, this and that, if I don't like it, you're not gonna like it. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Um, but I I try. It's a thin line because just like I was saying earlier, I might think nobody's gonna like it, mm. but somebody's out there's gonna feel it right now. So. You know, it's kind of it's kind of double edged sword. Yeah, yeah. You know what no, I, mean? I feel you. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But no, my lady, she's she's she tells me straight up on anything. Whether it's a tattoo, uh, you need to do this, you need to do that. A yeah. painting, uh, one of the shirts is crooked, or you know, straighten that out. Or yeah. Yeah, my lady, my lady's the one. That, 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 <laughs> she's, that's, the, she's the bulldog. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, I definitely had that in common with you, bro. I mean, obviously, I'm my worst critic. If I'm my worst critic, at the point where you know, if if I didn't have my girl. Tell me, like, no, you know, like, really, the second-hand opinion, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If I didn't have that second-hand opinion, bro, I don't think none of my art would be out. I see you now. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, probably push you to do it yeah, in yeah, the first yeah. place. Because she, she'll tell me, like, okay, yeah, you know, you, you that looks a little off, you know, odd even or something. And she always does uh, tell me when I misspell a lot of shit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like I said, it's good to have. It's, it's tough hearing it right in your face yeah, out loud, but that's good, man, because, you know, Otherwise, who knows? We'd be putting out some sideways shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and do you feel like it's better coming from a loved one or somebody that you don't know? Um, I feel, To me, bro, I feel like... Nah, actually, yeah. It, it, that one is another double-edged sword, you know? Because a loved one might hold something back where to a stranger might not. Yeah, yeah. Um... Well, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, I won't say names or the event or anything like yeah. that. But I will, I was, uh, I was stopping by to actually drop off a painting somewhere mm -hmm. at an event that I was supposed to take part in, and I didn't just because of time or whatever. But I still wanted to go out there, show love, meet the owner, okay, yeah. you know, or the 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 person running all that good stuff. Um, and I went and I had a couple. I had that big ass pop, you know, that big monster. I'm sure you've seen that one. Yeah, I had that one. I had big, and I had some other ones and. I'm coming through, whatever. And I kind of heard this guy already. He was with one of the booths. I kind of heard him already. Two beers in his hand already at yeah. 11 o'clock. You know, like it's, you could tell he was a loud, drunk, obnoxious dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, kind of stops and like, hey, hey, man, you know, that's awesome. But uh, don't you think this and this and this? Um... And his <laughs> his his buddy, the the owner, he's like, hey, shut, shut up. Mm. You know, that's not... That's his art. He can do it however he wants it. That's it. Well, I'm just saying that that way kind of kind of irks me. Yeah. Um. Cause one thing I've 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 learned too is you know I don't I don't I don't expect family to support me. That's just me. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't expect family to support me. Um. Nine times out of ten they're not gonna. Yeah. You know if it and it's like anybody else if you're moving in there not they're not gonna like that or. 
they're not necessarily gonna oh you know be your biggest cheerleader so i don't i don't worry about the family piece of it um okay. so i take strangers more more to heart be honest uh, or, or you know well you said fellow artists or whatever um, but just like in anything else, it's how you put it out there. Mm, yeah, yeah. If you put it out there like, dude, oh, no, you should, blah, blah, blah. hey, you know, well, whatever, man. You know, and I didn't want to say, hey, well, they sell just fine, man. Mm. You know, I didn't want to be an ass like that yeah, yeah. and just be like, hey, I sell the shit out of them. Yeah. But yeah. I was just like, all right, cool. That's cool, man. You know, because what he said was, uh, can I give you some advice? But he had already said that shit a little sideways. So I was like, yeah, but I probably won't use it. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. just not. Once again, you can't just take punches. You got to at least block them. You don't have yeah. to throw one back, but yeah. you could at least block them. So, yeah, definitely strangers for me, bro, or or fellow artists. That 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 I take into consideration, and it hits a little heavier to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's just me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, dude. Uh, you know, as you know, recently just being out there bro i'm learning a whole bunch of new shit you know and uh, th that's one of the things i'm learning as well bro. Like, yeah you gotta learn how to take compliments or or constructive criticism and and i'm great at that i yeah. anybody can tell me anything and i'll run with it you know or, or i'll do what i'm gonna do with it use it or don't or whatever but it's just how you come across yeah when you do that yeah. you know what i mean and, and that's what's up that you said how you handle it because i also believe in killing them with kindness yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> it, it only it only you know what because it makes them feel like an ass. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and you don't bring yourself down to that level either. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, And I feel like that does hurt an artist, like, when you're an asshole back. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and dude, you know, like, it, it's already bad enough we're, like we said, we're our own worst critics, man. And we're already nitpicky about our shit. If somebody says that, you're going to go home and just kill yourself about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might look or, at your or, project and be like, fuck. Yeah. You know? um, so one thing I've kind of seen, too, is, is like... Uh, and I don't want to be like all oh, Instagram me and shit like that, but some of that shit makes sense. It's like you know, sometimes you can't tell people what you're doing because negative negative energy will throw off your shit, it throw off your program, throw off your path. Yeah, you know your drive, your motivation. So sometimes you know I don't like putting shit out to the day before mm -hmm. the event or this or that or the other or you know if I'm doing a little something I don't like telling nobody until it's out. Okay. You know, yeah. so that way I don't have to. I, they, it can come in afterwards. I don't care because it's already out and I'm already getting my love. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, the love outweighs the hate every time. So, yeah, yeah, that's how that's how I look at it. Yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, yeah, I definitely gotta stop doing that too, bro. Because like every little step I take on a drawing or a piece, and it looks badass, I'll, I'll take a picture. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. And don't don't get me wrong, because I mean, obviously, that's what that whole that's what the whole social media platform is for. Whatever platform it is, is to get the shit out there. So, yeah. for me, like, and for like, you know, we were putting out the 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 grams and the snap shit earlier. Um, for any of you guys that follow my stuff, I usually put my process shit mm -hmm. on snap oh okay okay and then i'll put my finished product shit or my you know my my steady rolling steady you know commercials or whatever you want to call yeah, yeah, them, yeah. stories i yeah. call them commercials you know what i mean yeah, yeah. um i put those up you know all the time with finished finished product but snap for me is more the process type stuff because to me to, to me i think that's more of a little personal more of a personal app yeah like like you said that's shit for what you eating for lunch or what you painting right now or blah 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 so um yeah for me snap is more the process that's where you'll see my stuff even though i don't like doing much of that yeah um that's where you'll see more of my process stuff is okay. on snap okay. every now and then on the ground okay yeah, yeah uh, me i, I stopped fucking with Inst uh not instagram uh snapchat because i used to be on snapchat showing like the the process but uh you know from doing the podcast bro i had to drop something cause... yeah yeah that's a, that's a lot of balls to juggle yeah yeah bro and i i can only do three man like so i only do facebook instagram and youtube there you go yeah and at the end of the day it's probably it's probably you know work a little better a little more solid you know yeah because you know when you do throw more balls bro like you, you eventually you're gonna drop yeah you're gonna eventually drop you're gonna one drop. and you're like fuck you know maybe that could have helped when i when i did something you know yeah you, it, that that effort and time could have been pressed somewhere else yeah yeah but uh man we're at that 40 49 minute uh maybe a little bit less but uh yeah man we're gonna head to the smoke room obviously oh shit absolutely yeah yeah so uh That's yeah man. the game man yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, so everybody watching, man, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to continue on the YouTube. Definitely follow, subscribe, and also follow my boy, man. I would really appreciate it. So, yeah.
we're back. And, uh, yeah, fucking, uh, yeah, bro, I used to smoke a lot of blunts, bro. Now, when I smoke blunts, I feel like my chest feels weird, you know? Oh, no, shit, no? Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. you, I feel you. And, and when I smoke a lot of blunts, the next day, I get, like, the mucus. Oh, no, shit. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, um, for me, it's, uh, that's the shit I get when I hit, like, the wax or the shatter or the fucking, uh. Oh, really? The yeah. vapes and all that shit. I can't do that shit, bro. I'm, I used to do that a lot, bro. I was me. a connoisseur of that shit, bro. Yeah, that shit kills me, bro. Yeah, I, I can even take a quick little hit. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Where you can turn it down and shit <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it had me sound like the Godfather for, like, three days, man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm strictly a flower dude and, uh. Yeah, yeah, same here, bro. Flower dude, and uh, it has to be on paper, bro. Cause the, the... And see, for me, um, back back home, Texas, man, blunts, you know, that's that's what it is. You know what I mean? I guess the, everything's bigger in Texas, whatever the fuck. But um, just the cats I rolled around with, everybody was blunt, so it kind of just stuck with me. Um, I get shit for it a lot, you know, wherever I go, but, you know, whatever. But uh, you know what's weird, bro? I started off with joints, you know? The first time I rolled my joint, uh, I brought it... Around the neighborhood, bro, to you know, smoke up with the guys. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because everybody was used to blunts. Yeah, it was yeah. so taboo when you brought out a joint, right? And then when I rolled my first blunt, bro, that shit was like all fucked up. Like it got ran over type shit, mm-hmm. bro. You know? So it was definitely weird for me. But yeah, once I started kicking around the neighborhood kids, bro, I started smoking shitload of blunts. And then after a while, bro, it just it got to me. That's strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just got to me, so I I just switched to papers, bro. You know, healthier, and you taste the weed better if it if the weed has a good yeah. taste. Yeah, yeah. I feel you on that part. I um, I just to, for me the the papers, I just I didn't like the runners and shit like that. Yeah, and, uh, they're so easily um, you know, the stems will break through so easily. Shit, you know, just shit like that. You know, um, oh no, yeah, you definitely gotta be a little bit knowledgeable of rolling. Yeah, trying. yeah. So uh, you know, for me, that's that's more more of it. And then um, <laughs> I stole I stole papers from my parents. That's why I rolled papers. <laughs> I used to steal. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> What you accustomed to? Yeah, yeah. You and, see, and, for us, when we were kids, you know, we didn't have money to go fucking buy skins and shit at the store like now. Yeah. We're sneaking around smoking. We're little and shit. Well, my grandpa, he had Guadalupe cigars. <laughs> All the time, big yeah. ass, you know, fucking Mexican cigars, man. So that shit was rough, you know, yeah. when we were growing up. We learned heavy and hard <laughs> off that shit. But, mm-hmm. you know, so it was just kind of uh, on top of that was a thing that was just what always uh, available to us because of my grandpa, you know, he didn't know this shit. Eventually he did, you know, once high school came and shit, <laughs> yeah. he started hiding his uh, cigars and shit. But, yeah, I think that's kind of why I took to that. <coughs> and, and the reason why we're talking about... <coughs> The, the weed um topic is when when you're drawing bro do you, do you like to smoke up bro I stay high okay. um yeah same here <laughs> yeah um work play fucking uh going here going there doing that yeah I'm uh, I'm an enhancement smoker okay. um so yeah definitely dude not this I really zone out you know like um it's funny a lot of people say they don't like getting tattooed by me because I don't talk or I don't play around or I don't you know yeah. Unless we got other people for them to chat with, I'm fucking. Well, but, yeah, man. I, like when I used to tattoo, bro, I wasn't really. I'm a jokester, right? Naturally, mm-hmm. but, but when I would do my tattoos, bro, I was like dead ass quiet and like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bro. Well, well, shit. At the end of the day, you're sitting there doing something like we were saying. It's permanent. It's right <laughs> yeah. now. So you go left, and it's supposed to go right. That ain't gonna be right. So, yeah. um, for me, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll chat with you, but I'm not gonna. Do a whole conversation. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll be in and out or whatever. Especially they out. Um. So, yeah, no shit, man. I fucking take a blunt to the head and I'll jump in, dude. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. And what's cool is, uh, like, for instance, I told you I was working on that new cycle. Mm-hmm. Shit, I got home from work. Didn't even plan on it, but I went outside to roll something. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch, I got to get that done before Christmas. So, mm-hmm. you know, I just ended up jumping into it. So, uh, yeah, no, dude, uh, it's definitely motivation, man, for real, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, bro. I, I, I literally, you know, that it literally pumps me. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah dude, um, a lot of cats hit the couch or hit fucking park, you know? It doesn't have that effect on me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, same here, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, I might get stuck on what I might, what I want to do or what I might want to eat, but, like, 
once I once I'm in the mindset, like okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's over, man. That and um, yeah, talking about tattoos, bro. Like, how long have you been tattooing? Um, same shit with the, with the with the art in general, bro. I'm mean, we've been fucking around since little baby dots and mm-hmm. you know. Uh, sewing needles, hand poke to fucking homemade Walkman machines, and you know, <laughs> really? so oh yeah, shit, so we're kids, man. Yeah, um, yeah, bro. I always, though, once again, I've always been, been in in some type of shit since I was a young, and just something, I guess, you know. And, and now, now as adults, you know, yeah, it's a god given talent, bro. So that's something I've I just didn't try to do. It just, it just. Just happens, you know what I mean. So, did did anybody teach you? Um, I learned a little bit of, um, portrait, you know, like head, head uh, body anatomy type shit from my brother in law. Okay. Um, his name's Alvin Middle Real. Um, that was one of the fellas that I that I was talking about earlier that kind of influenced me. Um, but I remember as a youngin, he was over at the house one time and uh with my sister and we're sitting I was waiting for my bus and we had a little window I could see out to my bus and I was sitting on a staircase drawing and he sat down with me look this is how you draw your circle you put your two lines it'll you know give you the shape of a head then you go in and put your details on it and blah, blah. you know kind of like the bubble anatomy type yeah, shit yeah. the little wood character you see no no yeah, yeah I definitely do the bubble technique yeah. yeah yeah shit like that but I mean as as far as that goes no teaching no classes no no shit like that you know just basic Classes at school, you know, art shit, but once again, nobody really showed, just he shows you what you're going to do, and you do it, you know what I mean, so. Did, did he break down the machine, or did, like, because you said you did the, the Walkman, so did he teach you, or? Uh, no, that shit, that was just something cool, that was just what, what we, we, uh, I can't pinpoint where I've seen it one time, bro, I know I've seen it one time, can't tell you where, but I, I, I want to say it was probably one of my cousins. Okay. Um. They were doing the same. Once again, you follow suit. You don't know who's watching. Remember what we were saying earlier? Yeah. They didn't know we were watching. We were watching all their cousins do that shit. Mm. But yeah, just get your fork, bend it, get you a big pen, take the take the inside out, yeah. put a sewing needle on the plastic, you know, the ink yeah. deal, put it back in, fucking tape the that to the fork, and then you get the, <laughs> yeah. the motor from the Walkman on the bend side of the fork, tape that fucker, yeah. and then... Uh, you get a ra- uh, eraser from a pencil or, you know, from the pencil. Yeah. And through the tube here, you stick a needle through that and onto the eraser. And that's on the motor. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah, it, it pumps. It pumps that whole fucker. <coughs> but no, we just, we just, we just whipped it up, man. Seen it and said, this has got to be how it works. You know, only two wires connect. Yeah. You know, whether it was the AC <laughs> adapter or you hooked up the wires to batteries. Dude. You know. Yeah, that was crazy. Man. And before then, it was just fucking, you know. Little sewing needle, man. So, no, it, it's uh, from there, I say at about 18, 18, 19 years old, I bought my first kit, you know, like offline and shit. And it was real guns and needles. And once again, dabbled. It wasn't like I was trying to eat off the shit, you know okay. what I mean? Even now, like, I ain't, I ain't even trying to say, like, oh, I'm a tattoo guy. I'm okay. fucking, you know, like, no, not at all. I don't eat off that shit or, um, have I been playing with it for fucking twenty years? Yeah, but I've never tried eating or proclaimed I'm the I'm the one or I'm the bad motherfucker or nothing like that. It's just uh, um, I got that and I started uh like trying to do real shit, not just the little old English letter or the three dots or the cross or the you know I wanted some real you know some real shit, some real images, some real tattoos. So as of late, it's, it's been getting there. You know what I mean? Um. I don't have much shit out as I do in Texas, obviously, because I've okay. only been here 11 years and probably only started tatting again here in the past couple. Um, but yeah, Texas shit, you can, you can catch my shit at the gas station or at the store or at, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's motherfuckers walking around with my shit. So um, yeah, it's, but um, I've invested in, in that a little bit too more now. Um, I went to a couple sem- seminars already, um, okay. a couple of big dogs. Um, I'll tag you in their shit. Yeah. Um, but, you know, two, three hundred other classes, man. But, you know, you're learning from masters, dude. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, yeah, just like I said, anything I, I can do to sharpen sharpen my swords, man, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Whether it's pay 200 bucks for a class or drive 45 minutes to chop it up with another artist, you know. Yeah. Whatever whatever I can invest into myself, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, man, that's what's up, dude. Fucking, what, what, what was the hardest part about tattooing for you? Um, still, um, <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it, it's it's always hard. Um, I don't want to say even like um, not even like doing it is is the hardest part for me. It's the time, just like everything else. Like, um, I'll show you here in a minute. I just did a big ass chest rocker the other night. Oh, really? Um, Ooh. seven hours, bro. Oh shit. You yeah, know, I mean, yeah, they take forever, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's timely shit. Um, but that's time away from the kids, from the family. Shit, it was my daughter's birthday weekend. You know, like, don't get me wrong, I did not, we did not have her a party or not didn't do her shit, but usually we do even more. But, you know, that's why daddy went, so we can get some more, you know, birthday, some birthday fire, shit, or, yeah. you know, whatever. That's why daddy does what he does, whether it's my art shit or tattoo shit or my clothing, you know. It's doing what I love, but at the same time, it's, it's bringing home the bacon, you know, it, or it's it's helping bring home the bacon, you know what I mean? So, um, but for me, the t- the hardest part of the tattooing part is, is time. It's time. It's, it's timely, you know, and if you don't have them folks like me, I'm lucky enough. I just like you, I got my little downstairs studio, you know, so that's cool. But like some cats, you know, like I, I know cats that are like on parole or on fucking bracelets and shit like that, you know, like I got to go to them, you know, so that, that costs a little bit, you know, you know, once again, travel time, yeah. away time from the family as opposed to be able to do it. Hey mama, come over here right quick, you know, or Hey baby, come here, my daughter, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever. So yeah, just the time, man, the time, um, anybody can learn anything, yeah. you know, anybody can get better. Um, it's just practicing and, and once again, investing in your, in yourself and your skills and your craft. So I always try to learn, watch, ask. You know, I'm like a little kid, bro. I'll be on the gram with, you know, with the big dogs. Hey, bro, what are you doing there? How, what, what size needles or what, what, what shade is that? You know, like once again, all the ins and outs, just like we were doing a minute ago, you know. Um, but I'm just fortunate that there's dudes out there that are willing to give that fucking information mm-hmm. without having to pay for it, you know. Um, but I think that's where the love comes in. If you show love, folks will show love back. You know what I mean? Um, whether it be in a handshake or a shout out or showing you, showing you some new skills. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, yeah. The reason why I want to get into tattooing, bro, is because, um, fortunately, bro, I was blessed with a with a close cousin that did tattoos. So you know, I learned a lot from him, bro. And dude, uh, he helped me a lot, man. Like a lot of my art wouldn't be where it's at. If it wasn't for him, because you know he he mainly taught me my skulls, or nice. or I watched his skulls, bro. Like I, he would draw skulls like nothing, right? And like, bro, I was just I would just look and be like, man, I want to do that. You know? Yeah, fuck you know? yeah, dude. Um, and yeah, bro, he 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 taught me a little bit about needlework and all that, but not too much, bro. Obviously himself too, you know, the streets, you know, trouble and stuff, and um, but yeah, man, the basic thing I learned from him was keeping it clean. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. that's number one. Yeah, yeah that's bro. number one above anything. Cause it might be a bad tattoo, but might be a bad tattoo, but it's a clean tattoo. If it ain't infected tattoo, then that's all you worry about. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Um, cause you know a bad tattoo can get covered. Yeah, yeah. But a hurt. fucking uh, a fraction that leaves scars. Yeah, yeah. If if you're scarring folks, you know, chopping them or or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's one of the things that, like I told you, I went to that seminar. Um, one thing I learned there that I would have never fucking known, and I've never heard of anybody else doing it either, is, uh, you don't mind, do this, do No, no, go ahead, dude. Um, is, uh, a pure alcohol wipe at the end. I've, I've never heard of that. Um, that motherfucker must sting afterwards. Bro, you should have seen my man. <laughs> I, I, you know, and this dude I told you I just did his chest, yeah. I did his Adam's apple, bro. Like a couple weeks Go and you know, like I said, I've I've barely recently started using that technique. Yeah. I've always green soap, yeah. you know, like normal, all that good shit to you know for clean, cleanliness and all that good shit. But um, yeah, man, pure alcohol wipe, uh, angel tattoo. I'll tag you in this shit. He's a beast. Mm, dope, yeah. One one of the heavy heavy hitters in his son, uh, Lito Lito tattoos. Um, that's who I've been kind of. There's a lot of killers out there too. Pelavac, I think that's another one. He's the one that does uh my my work. Mm, and my my wife's work um out here in rockford or out there in jamesville um 
Milwaukee, actually. Oh, Milwaukee. Is where Bella Vodka is from. Angel Tattoo is from, I want to say it's like, I don't know, Waukegan or something with a W. <laughs> but yeah, check out that chest rock or everything. Damn, bro. Dude, how long did it take you to get your line? And, I, and I, freehand, I freehanded that. It, it, I actually drew it up. It started off as a forearm piece. Okay. But when we got there, he's like, man, bro, I really, I think that would look good on my chest. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to freehand that motherfucker then. Yeah. You know, which is fine, you know. Dude, ugh, the Adam's apple. Ooh. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Bro, he took that like a beast, but. Yeah, clean lines, man, for real. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, and the, the reason why I say that is because, bro, yeah, I got my shit tatted too, bro, from here to here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you first, got chest piece? Yeah, bro, my cousin, I, like, I told my cousin, I was like, I want, like, family, like, right here, right, Chiquito? And he was like, man, I'll hook it up, cuz. So it's literally from my my bone right here to like my below my nipple. Familia. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, wow. Man, it's like right here, bro. Right oh wow. Right here, bro. It was like at least four sessions, mainly shading. And see, he set that one session, bro. Seven hours, one session. And we still got the background and shit to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like I said, yeah, it's cash in the pocket, but you know, it's a lot of time, man. It's time away, and uh. Shit, I worked that morning. You know, I did it just like, you know, like today. I worked from fucking four to noon. Yeah. Got out at noon, went home, showered, and fucking boom, went to the dude's house. And there I was till fucking midnight. You know what I mean? And yeah, man, so awesome. it's always a hustle, man. But like I said, your shit ain't going to get out there. If, you know, put it out there. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man. How do you do it, bro? Because, dude, I should not. I'm after work, bro. Me. Because. I used to work at a Chrysler supplier, uh-huh. doing the doors, bro. I did a whole bunch of shit. Nah, I'm gonna go. Uh, fucking yeah, bro. So I would come home tired, bro. Not even wanting to draw, man. Yeah. Um. A lot of times, like I said, bro, it's because I have to. I got, I got shit lined up. Um. You were saying earlier when I do things for me, how long does it take, man, bro? I very, I can't remember. I the last time I've sat down and like done something for me yeah, yeah you know what i mean i really can't um like i said but i'm thankful for that man you know like i said because that that helps put bread in the pocket um but yeah no i just because like i said i always have something to do you know it just helps that i want to do it mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying like that's my love like just looking at that right there that's fucking crazy yeah, yeah that's what shout out jay squiller man that that's nasty yeah yeah bro yeah it's, a, it's gonna be a big collab 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 piece my what I'm gonna do is down here sketched out. That's that's the rapper dude. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, I haven't met him met him yet. I've seen him at the at the skate park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the skate show. Um, what was it? Screw City Uprising. Yeah, yeah, Screw City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw City Uprising. I seen him perform there, and then I seen. Remember, we we're talking reaction. That's not some bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, that's why a- anytime people people uh, reach out or want to do something, fuck, I'm on it. Like, why don't I write? And like I said before, I'm bringing everything. I'm bringing all the guns, man. I'll load it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, uh, it's too dope to turn away from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. For real, I assure you not, man. I definitely do be regretting the, the things I haven't gone to, bro. Yeah, like, for real, like, today, I don't know if Vic will see this now, like, I wanted to go to Vic's thing today, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can, bro, shit, it doesn't end until 5. It's up to you if you want to go. Yeah, yeah, man, we're know. just another couple minutes, because we're at, like, one, one Yeah, hour I'm sorry, two. man, I didn't mean to. No, no, you're good, you're good, but yeah, yeah, I definitely did want to go to uh, Vic's thing, bro. Me too, if yeah, you want to, yeah, yeah. I'm down with riding, yeah. you can jump in my shit. Yeah, bro, fucking, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, what are your plans for 2022, bro? Um. Vic or goals or projects. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, well, this wasn't this wasn't my idea per se. Um. Vic, just wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Uh. Before you say anything, this video is not gonna release at least at least more than three weeks. All right. That's all good. No. Yeah. yeah so, and uh. And I only say that because I don't want you to like let's say something pops up or something doesn't go through. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 This is nothing in stone. Okay. Um. No, um, Vic, everybody know Vic, the monster, um, he just asked me, hey man, when are you gonna do a solo show, you know, I'd love to help you with that, you mm-hmm. know, um, 
I'd love to do it. I just don't. I I don't I don't I guess I don't want to be the only one I guess mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah, like I'd rather, it, it, it's I'd a lot like, of pressure bro I'd rather get with all the homies yeah you yeah. know what I mean like but I want to handpick them mm-hmm. so like I'm down with doing an Alvarado sauce show like like maybe he'll like, put it on yeah, yeah like help put it together but I don't I don't you know I don't want to do like a solo show you know like I did one bro and Vic helped me bro and shit you not it was a lot of pressure even though he says. <clears throat> And then, once again, bro, shout out Jake Morrell, fucking nice guy. But even yeah, if that I, dude's the mayor of Rockford, dog. Yeah, bro. Even if I fucking failed, bro, he would have still said I did great. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. um, but that's what it's about, man. Showing love and and, and uh, being supportive no matter what. Yeah, and um, um, and but the thing is, like, so I did my show, right? And bro, like, I feel like I kind of well, like I I didn't go as hard as I would have now. If I go, if I do one now, bro, I think I could do a better. Yeah. One. Well, but this- but uh. No, no, you go ahead, bro. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, 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 that's you. Um, but one thing I've learned, brother, in doing all the little like the shows and events and shit here, uh, blah blah blah, is you learn at every one. So, like, who cares about that first? How you feel about that first one? Yeah. Because now you know. Oh shit! I'm gonna do this, this, and this this time. And guess what? That next one's gonna be a banger. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's one thing I've learned, and what I try to t- tell my daughter. On on both sides of it, not just like the the getting the pieces done or the art done, but like on the other side of it, because as we know, it's not just oh pretty pretty art. It's work, yeah. you know. You got like yeah. you said, you got to come home, you got to draw that shit, you got to paint it, you got to cut it, you got to yeah. print it, whatever it is you do. Um, you got to handle money, you got to deal with people, you have to spend promotion. time, you have to yeah promotion. I mean, Bro, that's everything. a huge one. Yeah, yeah, and and imagine you drawing hours and then you're working, you, and then you have to spend more hours on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on, like you said, promoting it. So, um, yeah, man, it's a, it's a, it's a whole lot. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, but bro, I think I'd rather, and not saying I couldn't do it, but yeah, because you definitely could do it, bro. You got the pieces, bro. I seen your pieces huge. I appreciate, it. and see, that's my other deal is like the shows I've been doing, they've all been uh. Uh, uh, a gathering of all the shit I've done in the past. Remember, we're saying how long we've been doing this shit. Yeah. All the pieces I've done in the past three years, bro. I'm so lucky that fucking Rockford, Rockford has put on for me the heaviest, or has been fucking with me the heaviest. All my pieces are here in Rockford, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Like, I have a couple. Like, I saw. Right yeah, hell yeah, that's what's up. You know what I mean, bro. And, and so I started to cut off you. No, no, you're good, you're good. But uh, there's been a few people that said that they really like that drawing and they know that artist. No shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. No shit. Yeah. That's what's, and see, that's remember I was saying like, yeah, okay, a couple twenty bucks here and there, whatever, or you know, make some money. That's cool, but to me, that's the shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. I want to be able to, you know, folks that, um, you know, we're talking tattoo game. I got a Flox money back. I'm out here. Yeah, I don't know if you know Flox thirty two, but um. Man, bro, I was in Rockford going to the show and a viejita at the gas station. Hey, young man, my son got that at the Chicago Tattoo Convention from that man from... Yeah. Like, there's a viejita that knows this guy from fucking... He's from Cali. You know, don't yeah, know yeah. nobody in Rockford, Illinois, but people know who the fuck that is. You know, to me, that's the shit right there. Yeah, yeah. That's the big payoff. So, for you to say that, that's that's badass, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. folks that come in here for the interviews yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. The, I haven't released them because, like, I uh, I said in a post on Facebook, bro, that's where I get, like, show all the news about the podcast. But uh, I was going to do start doing two a week, but the thing is I want sponsors so I can, you know, make some revenue or something to help the podcast. Yeah. Uh, so I started giving everybody, you know, their own week for now. So, I mean, and I got like four more I got to drop. Wow. Yeah, yes. bro. But that's and, shit, bro. And uh, once before you, bro, they, they said they really like to join and they know that artist. And I was like, what? No way, bro. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> shit, I'd love to know who they are. No, well, you're, you're probably going to hear it on the podcast because... You know they're right here, and then, oh, it's all it was all in the. I, I think I think either bef- during the podcast or before or after the podcast. That's cool, man. And and the fact that it's not like we were saying earlier. Oh, he's a dickhead. Yeah. Or he's an asshole. Or he was a. Uh, he thought he was cocky. Or he was, you know, like. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just a. I'm just a. Uh, just a regular dude, man. Just um, I'm just happy to be involved with everything that's going on. You know what I mean? That's that's so dope to hear, man. Yeah, yeah, man. 
Yeah, I definitely have to tell you, bro. Because, dude, that, that's crazy. I, I really didn't think, you know. Because, um, yeah, nobody nobody knew the, the, the one in the bottom. But, yeah, he, he's he's known by his name, but he's just not known by his art. Got you, got you. Yeah. And see, um, and, the, and the same thing with this guy. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. yeah, yeah. I would have never known. I, I, I seen who he is. I didn't know he even fucked. I thought he was just a mic dude, you know, MC, you know. Um, so I love passing stories like that down too, bro. Yeah, that's the shit. And, and you know, back to what we were saying, you know, um, you know, we all we all leave a mark, dude. Just what kind of mark you gonna leave? You know, you just live and die. That's that sucks. You know, leave a, leave a mark, even if it's a little one, even if it's in yeah, and, and, in your town, you know, yeah. or in the next. Like I said, I ain't even from here, bro. Yeah. I ain't even from Janesville, and folks from Rockford are talking about they know my shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I know that guy. So to me, that's that's fucking huge. That's awesome. You know, yeah. to me, that's that's huge. Yeah. You know, I, I that's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, man did did I cut you off on the 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 plans for twenty twenty two? Um, well, we talked about trip. it a little bit. We yeah, just yeah. talked about the solo thing with Vic and how I, I kind of didn't want to do a solo thing. I think eventually I will. And that was my point on it was I just, I just, uh, I'd really have to sit down and like fucking bang pieces out. Cause I don't want, that's what I was saying is all the shit I do all the time is my same, not all the time, but I always try to have one or two fresh pieces, Yeah. but they're commissioned pieces added to what I have already. And I get to borrow from everybody in Rockford. Thank you, Rockford, for everybody that fucks with me is they lend me the shit for shows. So I can still sell prints all day, but they get to see the original. And that's what kind of what I do. Then when somebody says, well, I want a fucking original painting too, you know, like I want a painting as well, not just a print. Yeah. Then I can bag that. Or if somebody says, I want something different like that, then okay. So that's more my game. That's more, not game, but that's more what I'm doing. I just do commission pieces and whoever gets an idea off of it, fuck with me. Mm, okay. And what's cool is I'll put that on wood, canvas, painting, t-shirt, tattoo, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I literally do any any plane you want to do that on. You know what I mean? So yeah, and uh, you you man, uh, we we did skip a few things, but like I said, bro, you're always welcome back. Yeah, yeah absolutely, bro. absolutely. But uh, yeah, bro, you definitely put your designs or pieces on on clothing and merchandise, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, I've started to do that. Um. And people can go to a website or you? Um, basically, just hit my gram. Um, hit my gram or my snap. That's where I do all my stuff at. I, I, ain't, I ain't, I'm not looking to be a brand, a clothing brand or anything at all. It literally started from a tattoo. I did a, I did a blessed tattoo on the back of this dude's neck. Okay. And I was like, shit, that'll be dope on a shirt. Yeah. And I made a shirt and it fucking did fine. So I was like, well, shit, I'm going to do the OE shirts. And I started doing the old English letter shirts. And now I've just kind of turned into the hat shit and uh, every, masks, fucking t-shirts, Dang. whatever. And I was like, damn, well, I can put my paintings on a fucking t-shirt, mm. you know? So, and now my daughter, like I said, my daughter's doing the same shit now, bro. She's doing her own. She's a digital monster, you know? Yeah, dude, it's, that's so... She like, can do the other shit. Like, she's yeah. a pen and pencil. She's traditional shit. She can, she don't like paint. She did one, uh, I don't know the fucking character. You probably know him. He's a... He, He's a anime dude. He's the little dude with the grenade hands. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, um, I think he's from Hunter Hunter. Sp- spiky blonde hair. Oh, spiky blonde. Um, but anywho, yeah, she did him. The only painting I've seen her do, fucking killer, bro. Like I'm like, geez, I need to step my shit up. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? like, yeah, yeah. like I'm gonna sit down and do a better one than you. You know, yeah, like, yeah. but that's how it made me feel because I was like, damn, girl, that's good and. You, Come on, paint some more canvases, and she, she it's yeah. just not you know, but just like anybody else, it's not her flavor. Yeah, her flavor. I bought her that fucking iPad, and forget yeah. about it, dude. It's been over with ever since. Yeah, sure you not, man. That's something I wish I could learn, but I'm an old, I'm an old person, old dog, bro. Fuck yeah, me. I gotta feel that pen, and paper. That, yeah, that, right. That I gotta be able to erase this shit. Yeah. Like, um, man, I don't even want to. I don't even want to speak on it too heavy, but I got a project coming up. That that's. You were talking about that. Um, it's not even next year. It's coming up. Like, I got to go over there after this. Oh, okay. Type shit. Um, I'm I, I'm doing my first mural here here in Rockford. Um, dude, that's dope. I'll, I'll just put a little bit out there. It's gonna be at the smoke shop. Okay. They're opening up on the west side of town. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna go there today in a minute to, to finalize the design and all that good shit. Um, but I'm gonna do my first mural here in town, and then I got something else lined up. Um, a barber shop as well in Rockton okay, that wants dude. a mural, or you know, they they started about some paintings, but yeah. then they started inquiring about a mural. So that's huge for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, sorry to stop you there, bro. Are you doing can or or, or brushes? Um. Real talk, bro. Even in my paintings, I do everything, man. So I don't know how I'm gonna approach it. Okay. Once again, this is gonna be Run my shoes. first. I fucked around <laughs> like back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Rattle can hit the alley, but never sit down and throw a fucking so mirror. Right? Yeah, like throw Ooh. down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Quick fucking bomber. Yeah, or a sweet cr- scratch tag, whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> fucking straight up mural for a business. Yeah. No. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my heart and soul in it, just like do everything else, but. Um, that's one thing that I want. I want you, and I want like. Um, yeah, I I definitely picked up some tips from some good people, bro. Or I know some good people <clears throat> that know how to work the spray can. Yeah, De- depending on how you obviously, bro. I don't. Well, don't wanna... get me wrong. I've already I've already been playing in the garage. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I've been playing in the garage. I picked me up some some, some tips and shit and all that yeah. good shit. Um, and back in the day, once again, they didn't have liner so, tips, oh, outliners, yeah. fillers. Fucking, you had the spray can, and that was it. So, I'm just and once again, I watch everything. You know, I, I watch artists, uh, watch shit on 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 wow, the gram wow. or on the net, whatever techniques and all that good shit. So my, uh, my mind's always my mind's ready to get into it. I yeah. just got to get there and see. Okay, what am I gonna do? What's gonna work best? So yeah, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of everything though. Yeah, uh, can fucking probably acrylic brush, hand 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 painting. You know what I mean? Freehand shit. Um. I'll show you a design before I leave. You'll be the only one to see it. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that, that. <laughs> I got it right here. You'll be the only one to see it. <laughs> That's dope, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, if you need help, bro, shot. I'm always in town. Yeah, I'm going to chop it up with you after we get off here. I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. Yeah. Um, it's not for everyone yet. Yeah, for sure. No, I definitely. Yeah, I always tell people, the guests, you know, uh, definitely don't spill your whole bag just in case things fall out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is, this is like I said, I'm leaving here to go over there. Yeah. All right, the the last thing, bro, uh, are any words for any artist out there trying to do this art or anything creative? Um, just like I was saying before, man, don't don't hold yourself back. Um, I met I met a couple people um that have bought my shit, and obviously, like nobody's just gonna buy your stuff. They got to be some type of artistic about them, or they're like. You know, Wait, give me one you can keep talking. Yeah, so so when somebody buys something, I always ask their name. Hey, what's going on? Do you want to, or do you do anything? And blah blah blah. Nine times out of ten, they're kind of they're artists themselves. People, you know, people that appreciate art, yeah, only buy art and shit like that. So once again, I just met a dude at the skate show. Didn't know he was an artist until he started following me after he bought something. Um, I think it's cool, eg or. Something like that, if I'm not mistaken, if he hears this. Um, but I went on his page, and he's got in his bio, uh, artist, I guess. You know, like... Of, of your piece? No, on, 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 on his bio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It says, I'm an artist, I guess. And oh. I look at his shit, I'm like, dude, what do you mean, I guess? Your shit is crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, he, had yeah. a, he had a crazy self-portrait on there. Um, and just like anybody else, you got your badass shit, and your so-so shit, and your quickie shit. And you could tell what was what on there. Yeah. But you could tell this dude's an artist, it's like yeah, yeah. no questions. Um, but he didn't have nothing put out. He wasn't, do, you know, he's not like, like, oh my God, we're doing shit heavy. But, you know, he hasn't been at no little shows or, you know, selling this shit or nothing like that. I'm like, dude, why aren't you, why aren't you selling shit or whatever? He's like, oh, well, you know. So, yeah, to artists that are out there, don't be scared. Don't hold yourself back, man. Come out of the basement or out of your room or out of the dungeon or whatever it is. Put your shit on your gram. That's that's free advertisement, man. Put your shit out there. Somebody's going to want it. Somebody will pay for it. You know what I mean? Somebody will come get it. Somebody will, somebody will ship it. Um, don't be scared to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you got to believe in yourself before anybody else does. That's That's, that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah, that, that I, I really believe in those words, bro. Cause, shit, I've been in my dungeon for like how many years, and then you know, but you 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 gotta open yourself up to the right people, man. Like, yeah, absolutely, and um, and you can navigate that. You know what I'm saying? You can navigate that whether it's online or it's in person. Just it's just like fucking high school, man, or just like your new job. 
you you find your people. You know, once again, you find your tribe. Yeah. You know, what I mean, you find your tribe, but you just gotta definitely don't worry about the negative. Don't worry about the the hate. Don't, don't worry. Uh, don't worry about the fails and the L. Yeah, no, no, all that shit. Hell no, you just keep cracking, man, and and just biggest thing for me that I've learned is just do you, do me. That's mm. don't yeah, worry yeah. about what the next man's doing. Don't worry about this one, that one, whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm learning that now. You know, like. Just do you, and that's it. You know, and you'll be fine. Yeah, whoever you are, but don't be scared. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah, 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 man. Beautiful words, man. Hell yeah. So, as you know, bro, at the end of every episode, I try to give artists, you know, some art. You know, you give me some of your time, I'm gonna give you some of my time. Oh shit, nice. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man. I thought you you could use some blanks, bro. Some wood. Yeah, absolutely. You know Uh, me, I'm a wood guy. Yeah, yeah. uh, uh, Fucking coasters, bro. Whatever you want to use them, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, my man. So, I got you your own coaster. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah, I coded it. I made one for your daughter because I know she draws and shit. Yeah. It's, it's not coded and it's not painted in the back. So, if she wants to do something on her own. Bro, get out of here. And that might need a layer of coat if she likes that. Okay. But if she doesn't, nah, bro, she nah, can nah, she'll, she'll rock it like that. Get out of here, homie. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some yeah, stickers, that- bro. Yeah, some stickers right there. Damn, bro, I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, the blank ones, I don't know if you want to give them to your daughter, you know, because... You know, we'll I, see. She's cheap out. I'm going to keep some stuff for me, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but th- these are blanks, and you can just draw on them. Yeah, bro. yeah, throw down. Hell yeah, absolutely. They're, they're not the wh- highest quality, but they're decent, man. No, they're, no, they're no. Thick. They're That's thick. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much, man. You know, like I said, I, I, I didn't know the, the program, but, you know, I'll take care of you shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but man, that's what we do here, man. We try to show as much love as we can, when we can, and especially, bro, you gifted me a fucking art piece, bro. Bro, I mean, I, I see you know, I try not to be that person, but you know, I really love art, so I'm always gonna cherish anything and everything. Oh yeah, gives. and and that's and that's why I gave it to you, cause like I said, I, I don't, I hadn't even met you yet. Yeah. I only seen you at. A few things, yeah. Because I, I hardly go out, bro. Yeah, I, I think that out. was the first time we actually shook hands, met, and you shot that little bit of, uh, of video. a video and blah, blah, blah. And that's why I was like, shit, this is one, this is a, this is somebody. Remember I was talking about, you know, like the somebodies of Rockford. Oh, no, nah, bro. I'm that, well, I mean, I'm, I, a, I'm a somebody. I definitely, uh, I definitely believe you're one of them somebodies in Rockford. So that's, that's what got you that, not... Well, you thank know, this, you, bro. that, the yeah. other uh, is I knew you would appreciate it because um, I could give that to anybody to put it on the desk or in the corner. Which always Give it away me, to, you know. That well, that scares me, bro. Like, I, I would rather give an art, uh, art piece to somebody that's going to cherish it than to somebody that's going to put it in a desk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, but that's the chance we take in. Yeah. in, in I mean, if they pay for it, that's cool. But, you know, when you give it. Yeah, but when you give it from your heart, you know, that's the chance we take. You know, whether it's Christmas, birthdays, or... Your art, you know what I mean. That's that's what it is. But um, yeah, no, I, I thank you for 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 uh appreciating it and for uh for fucking having it up, dude. That's the shit. Thank you so much. No nah, man, appreciate you, bro, coming on, man. Especially after getting off work, bro. Damn, bro, I didn't know you. Yeah, no, nah, we all time. good, man. It's all it's all love. I I couldn't think of, of anything better I'd be doing tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but I'm glad you like it, man. Like I said, the door's always open for the next one. Whenever you want me, dude, I'm here. We can chop it. Yeah, yeah for sure, man. So, thank you so much, man. Everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, thank y'all. Yeah, so holler at me, Alvarado Sauce. That's the that's the IG, the Snapchat as well. You want commission work? You want shit? I got ready, clothing, prints, tattoos. Get at me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Until then, guys, stay tuned and stay safe. A to the Z.